seeing different miracles every single day and this place is just a miracle that that everybody's here and Haiti is getting better every single day. And it'll be better next week. Yep, it will. It's positive and I'm gonna say affirming. And I, I think understanding that there is a large group of people that are committed selflessly to helping others, helping this country. And I think there's the first time that you come here and it, uh, it can be pretty shocking when you look at the conditions, but just understanding that, that people are saying there is progress. So you, know, you look at a, an island here, no industry, no resources. There's people who need everything. And it's not wanting everything. They need everything, you know, from, from top to bottom. And just understand that there is progress being made slowly. So from the first time I got in, I hopped off that water truck. I seriously, the kids are so affectionate. I had no idea that they could be like that. I mean, I'm just some dude from Minnesota. Like, mm -hmm. how can, you know,
you know, and before you even get off of the, the tap tap, they lock eyes, they look at you and they're waiting. And, and I seriously got off and held this kid's hand, this one's hand, took three steps to the left and started crying. Like it was that quick. And I almost got up and, and went on the tap tap because I was, I've just never been affected like that before about anything. And, uh, and I, I thought, you know, these, all of these children around here are all happy and laughing and playing and there I am crying. So I had to kind of suck it up. Um, but it's all this noise, people yelling, screaming, singing, and I had this little girl in my arms, and uh, in the middle of all this chaos, she started singing in French, Creole, and the world just stopped for me. It was it was like in a movie uh, when everything stops, the sound cuts out, and it's in slow motion. That's what it was. <laughs> How do you even come close to finding something like that in the world? It's just amazing. What's amazing are those the little tiny kids, you know, saying, "Hey, can you put the bucket on my head?" And I'm thinking, "Okay, the bucket is the size of you. Are you kidding?" I and I could barely pick it up, and they're like, "Come, Come on, on. <laughs> I'm trying." You know? and, uh, are we making a difference? How can just one person or one team make a difference? And I'm seeing this week that we can, and. Uh, in Ephesians 3, 20 and 21, I think it is, it talks about that not only is God able to do it through us, um, but that he does it abundantly. And um, that sums it up as he's able. It's not, it's not by our power and our might, but it's through him and he works through us. The continual improvement on the island uh, even from the first time we came till um, till this one, seeing the roads that have improved, seeing the tent cities start to disappear, you do get a sense of optimism and a sense of hope saying it is slowly getting better. I mean, there's not a short-term fix for anything, but it is getting better. Getting to meet the wonderful people who've made the commitment to come to this because you are a special breed and that God would put that calling in your life speaks so well of that sensitivity we want to Lord here I am send me um, even wanting to be willing I think would be my word that may may my heart stay wanting to be willing um, I think his name was Pierre one of the elders and when we walked into his house he was under the bed and I just, <laughs> I can't even fathom a life where you spend your day <laughs> under your bed. <laughs> There's the <laughs> um. Yeah, the, the, the beauty in the eyes of the children was just something I'll never forget. How they looked up at you and gazed at you and just wanted to be held. It was amazing. Yes. Smiles, big white smiles, big brown eyes. <laughs> just, oh. One of the boys pulled a piece of paper out of his pocket, and on it were the words to the song, I've decided to follow Jesus, and he started singing it. It was amazing. It was, Jesus was there. It was awesome. I've never seen such pure happiness. Um, really unadulterated joy. Uh, it was fascinating. Um, I've never been brought to tears so many times in one week in my life uh, for both positive and negative reasons. Um, so if anybody's thinking about coming to Haiti, <laughs> come. <laughs> come. It'll be an experience of a lifetime and it'll change your life. So, it's been an incredible week. At first when you think about doing something like this, you think you're going to help them. And I really think, not to sound cliche, they helped me more than I helped them. Magnificent. I love you and I'll miss you and I'm going to come back.